All right, as we continue on here with the show, it is now time for another segment of Work Life, where we are joined by Ciara Pressler to help us figure out how to navigate this new world, and that includes meetings and different things that we have going on. Despite the fact that we're all separated, we still got to connect via Zoom, and Ciara is here with us now. Hello, Ciara. Where do you want to start off with this? Oh, Greg, you know, I made a big mistake because right when this whole COVID stay home thing started, we talked about how to look better on video, but we didn't talk about why. And so I'm afraid I might have left our viewers hanging by not explaining why it's so important to check your video look. And that is that is a good point because uh, let's go through that. You know, why is it? Why is it important that we have to keep that up? Well, you know, people are always judging you. People are kind of half listening to what I'm saying right now, and they're half looking at my background and trying to make a few assumptions about me. It's totally subconscious, <laughs> but just like everything, when you show up somewhere with a certain look in a certain outfit, uh, carrying a certain thing, sorry, it's not always fair. It's just how we are as humans. We are making evaluations and assumptions uh, in the background all the time. So the game is that you want to make those assumptions work for you. So doing that and thinking about those those assumptions, I didn't, now I'm judging myself here as I'm looking at my background, but um, what types of meetings are people having and what are some different basically rules that people should kind of maybe go by? Well, I want to talk specifically today about interviews because I have been conducting interviews in my company lately and I've noticed that people show up to interviews on video very differently than they show up to interviews when they come to my office in person. And that should not be the case. Now, listen, it's easier than ever to show up to an interview looking your best because you only have to look your best from here up <laughs> and you have your whole wardrobe right there. So you can go on video before that interview starts, before that business meeting starts, um, especially if you're doing business development, sales, negotiation, anytime where you're trying to get people to buy you or your product, you've got to watch out for that look. So, you know, make sure you look right on video. It's also that eye level, you know, the camera's about at my eye and lighting. If you're in the shadows, Maybe you are suggesting to people that you're shadowy, not trustworthy, they're squinting to see you. Um, you're always communicating when you're not communicating verbally. There's a lot of nonverbal communication now, and now your environment is also a part of your outfit. And that's, I mean, again, great advice to, to factor that in. So bringing all that into it and making sure that you have this right appearance, what are some pro tips and things that, that people can do or keep in mind when they're going through specifically like interviews? If they're going to interview with Ciara, what should people keep in mind? <laughs> well, if you're going to interview with Ciara, you need to do a little recon on Ciara and her style and her level of fanciness. Now, I know we're all at home right now, and so we're feeling a little more casual, but that is no excuse to wear a sweatshirt to a job interview. You always got to be minimum business casual when you're meeting people for the first time. Um, maybe you can get more casual once you have the job, but you got to get that job first. Um, like I said, how you look is communicating what you're worth. So uh, you don't want your interviewer or the person who's deciding what you're going to be paid as a contractor or vendor to be, you know, sub subconsciously thinking that maybe you don't deserve as much as you actually do because you're showing up kind of not looking your best. So look the basically look the part that you want or that you want to present when it comes down to that. Um, any other pro tip that people should know about? Yeah, you know, learn the rules to break the rules. Of course, we all have our own personal style and you can incorporate that, but wear the costume of the role you're trying to get and then bring in your personal style and break the rules when it benefits you. You're trying to achieve a goal right here. The goal is to get the job, to get the deal, to get the price that you're worth and you wanna show up looking like you deserve that. So just don't inhibit yourself by, by neglecting that side of things. That's, that's great advice, as always, that you always bring to the table here for us every week. And Sarah, for everybody out there who wants to find out more about your company and everything that you do, where should we send them? Well, my company is called Pregame, so you can go to pregamehq.com to see everything we've got going on. Maybe check out an event via Zoom or even see some of the career <laughs> opportunities coming up. 
Fantastic. Star Pressler here with us. Thank you so much. I am trying to figure out what that painting is in the background now that you brought that up. That's all I'm looking at. But nonetheless, Star, thank you so much. Uh, check out all of the work-life segments there at digitaltrends.com. I'll talk to you soon.